Hello, I'm Cheryl. And I'm Leslie. And we're two of the counsellors from the counselling team at UTES. We are located in the Student Centre, which is opposite the GU Cafe, um, and it's very easy to find us. The building has a, a nice big um, sign on it that says Student Centre. So that's where we are on the ground floor. So and, Leslie. Yeah, and today I'd like to ask Cheryl some questions which I think might be interesting for you to hear the answers to. And we want to let you know that you're very welcome to be coming to make appointments with us. Okay. So Cheryl, I'll do this like an interview in a sense. Yes. So what does a counsellor actually do? A counsellor meets with um, students who I guess have reached a point of thinking maybe I need someone to talk to who is outside of my loop, outside of my friendship circle, mm. not my mum and dad. Um, someone that I can just sit down and work through some of the issues that are troubling me okay. and get an outsider's point of view. Okay. And what sort of problems can people come along with? Or what kind of issues? That's a really good question. Um, I call it life issues. <laughs> so lots of things happen to us while we're studying. Um, we sometimes come to uni and think, you know, life is going to stop, but life continues. So lots of things happen in our relationships maybe in our financial situation, maybe the transition from work to uni, maybe we've been working in a workplace before coming to uni, um, drug and alcohol issues, mm. issues around sexuality, issues around becoming independent, mm. um, yeah. yeah, moving from, from home to uni is a big mm. issue. Yeah. And when you talk about sexuality, what about some more of the embarrassing issues? How would it be if somebody wants to come along talk about those. You know, how do you manage that? People come in with, with a whole range mm -hmm. of issues as I said mm -hmm. and um, there's the environment that we have is a really safe and comfortable environment mm -hmm. where we hope people feel relaxed and safe enough to talk about, mm -hmm. about a lot of issues mm -hmm. and there are sensitive issues in people's lives which we respect and mm -hmm. honour. And we have um, you know, very strict guidelines around privacy and confidentiality and record keeping that we outline to students when they come in. So we mm -hmm. can assure their, you know, your safety um, around the issues that you want to discuss. And so Cheryl, are there sometimes really serious things that come up, really serious mental health issues and people feeling like they might even want to kill themselves? Mm -hmm. Do you sometimes drop it? Occasionally, um, we find you know, people come in feeling that you know they've got nowhere else to go, they've got um, mm -hmm. no other avenue, no other area mm -hmm. of support, and so we work with them on a one-to-one you know, -one over a period of time, work mm -hmm. through those really deep issues that um, mm -hmm. have led them down, down a path of thinking, well, maybe you know, I just mm -hmm. want to leave my life to, to stop the pain. Okay. But we have lots of resources and networks that we draw on to support people as they work through those issues. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, so I'm just having a bad day and I feel like I want a bit of a chat. What do I do? Can I come and see you? Absolutely. Um, we have an appointment schedule because we're a bit like a, a doctor's surgery. We have a lot of clients. Um, and sometimes students want a place to just go down and, and sit down and think, well, uh, you know, there's something that's worrying me but I don't quite know what it is. And, you know, just over a period of about 45 minutes we can sometimes work through that and find out, you know, what's at the base of them feeling a little bit sad or a little bit unhappy. Okay. And so, if I've got study problems, do I come to you about that? You can come to us um, and we can talk about study issues but there's a, a wider range of support around too, like with the student advisors, um, Carolyn for example, um, learning support officers, we're part of a, a much wider team. Mm. We, we tend to work with students around life issues and those really um, troubling things that can happen while we're at uni, emotional issues. Mm. And so Cheryl, what happens if a student's really worried about a friend? Mm. It's not for them but they're really concerned. You know, maybe something like they're concerned their friend's depressed or they're worried that their eating, eating styles have changed, they've lost a lot of weight or something like that, and they're feeling unsure what to do. That's, that's a um, really um, good question, again, because we don't know what's happening in the lives of our students unless they come and talk to us, and sometimes that's really difficult for people to do. So if a friend comes in and mm -hmm. says, look, I'm really concerned about my friend, he or she is doing this and that, um, or I've noticed this behaviour, 
we can really help the friend support their friend. And we can do that in lots of different ways, again, through working out strategies of support, through um, putting people in touch with different support agencies around the place. But certainly, having someone to talk to about what's going on with your friend is a real help. Yeah, okay. Um, now, Cheryl, sometimes I've walked past your room and I hear this laughing coming out. And I think, this, is this meant to be a serious business or not? In my office, I, I think it's a bit like the TARDIS at times. Mm. Um, we discuss and experience a whole range of emotions from mm. laughter to tears. Um, yeah. And sometimes laughter is a really healthy thing to do. Um, and it just happens and when it's spontaneous, it's really good. Mm. Yeah. It is serious, but there's also laughter in it. Mm. Now Cheryl, what's the difference between talking to you and talking to a student's mum? How would it be different? How would it be different? <laughs> Some of the comments that students have um, volunteered over the time has been, I'm sort of like um, outside the loop, that um, coming to a counsellor is coming to someone who doesn't, who's not emotionally involved in the situation and so has a different take on things. Um, and that can sometimes be really helpful to people to have that person outside the loop. Gee, that phone's a bit annoying, Cheryl, but we'll <laughs> see if we'll let it, let it run. Um, be assured that in our counselling sessions we actually keep the phone turned off so that we're not interrupted with phones. <laughs> and I know Carolyn made an effort for this not to happen. All right, well, it might be time for us to finish up. Is there anything else, Cheryl, that you think we should say at this point? I we can't cover it. everything. No, course. we can't, but we'd yeah. love to see you. Yeah. Um, as I said, um, come in and see us, make an appointment to come in and see us. I've had students come in and say, Cheryl, you know, I saw you at orientation, I've done the workshop on stress, I really just want to come and see um, other things that you know you work with, I mm. wanted to meet you, I wanted to tell you a little bit about me in case I need to come and see you. Mm. And students do that as well and, and that's a really good thing to do. Mm. Um, there are other ways to contact us, we can do phone counselling. If you um, aren't on campus or there's a reason why you can't mm -hmm. come in from face to face. Mm -hmm. And for students who are off, camp off campus, we can also do email counselling and you can contact me through the through Carolyn if you want to find out more about e-counselling. So that's an important area, isn't it? And it's something that's a little bit new. It's growing. It's a, The, the e-counselling is a pilot project at the moment. Um, we've had about half a dozen students since the end of since semester two last year and the feedback has been really excellent. Some students find it's really helpful to be able to sit down and read through um, the issues that they've raised and also my response. Mm. So it, it's just a helpful record for them. Mm. Okay. Um, look, I reckon we could finish up there. We'd like to say it would be lovely to see you. Absolutely. If you want to come and have a talk with us about any of these things we've spoken about. Good luck right. for your studies yeah. and um, if anything starts to worry you at all, please come and see us. Bye bye.